pretty sky. Good morning. This is perfect because it's dark so you just can't really see me. But this is a very exciting video because today I'm finally moving back to Newcastle. So it's quite late. I've left it late to move back. But I'm going back today and I'm on my way to the airport now. So I have so much to say right now that I feel stressed. So basically, I'm getting a flight overnight. It's really dark. But I'm getting a flight this morning and then my mum and dad are getting the boat over later. Now I had to fly over earlier because I haven't lifted the keys for my flat. Um, I, I haven't even seen my flat, fun fact. I didn't get to view it, my friend went to view it and then she FaceTimed me and showed me it. But yeah, I have to go and get my keys and my mum and dad are only going to arrive in Newcastle around like 5 o'clock off the boat and by the time they drive down and the estate agents close at 5 so it was just too tight for time to push it so I'm flying over earlier now and I'm gonna go and get them and stuff it actually worked out though in my favor because it means that I'm bringing a big suitcase over with me and now there's so much more room in the boot and also even with that suitcase out, I would not have fit in the back seat so I don't know how we were how are we ever gonna put me in I would have had to bring so much less less stuff over but because I'm not in the car, I literally got to bring over like everything I wanted to. I'm going to get off the plane and then I'm going to go straight to Paul's and dump my bag. Then I'll go and get my keys and then my mum and dad are staying in my flat tonight and going home tomorrow on the boat to end. And then I'm just going to stay at Paul's tonight and then tomorrow Megan comes. So Megan's over for my birthday weekend um but i think i'm gonna put all that in a separate video like my birthday vlog because i don't want this to be really long i also i don't really have anything to buy like i wanted to get everything bought so that i was not like stressed and i needed to run around newcastle and buy things like whenever i moved in i wanted to be like actually moved in but the only thing i actually do need is like a blanket for my bed um i think that's all i can think of and a dressing gown i wanted like a green like sage green blanket and i couldn't find them anywhere and i was like okay i'll just wait till i get to newcastle also like everything in newcastle is so normal i have not experienced it yet like my friends are just out in like nightclubs and all and like everyone's walking around and i'm like sorry what it's just everything's completely back to the way it was stuff in now. Me, my mum, my dad are going to do like a big food shop in Tesco and then when we come back I'll like start to unpack. I haven't unpacked anything. It's just all thrown in and set in. I'm going to Tesco in this. And obviously first reactions. I love my flat. It is slightly small for the price. I think I was like prepared for that. Like I sort of thought the more I looked at pictures I was like this definitely is. Oh look at that big massive spot. I was like, this definitely isn't gonna be as big as what I think it is in my head, and it wasn't, but you know what, I love it. I didn't vlog anything in the airport because I almost missed my flight. Well, so basically I only ever leave myself like an hour to get through security because I only, I never have a suitcase, but today I had a suitcase and I just didn't think anything different. And I got there and my gate was opening in like five minutes. And I think, is it when you open, mommy, when the gate opens, does the, window to get your bag on closed. You can't. Yeah, so basically I only had five minutes to check my suitcase on and the line, you would have thought that it was like summer holidays and people were going to like on holidays. It was so long and I was like, oh my God, I nearly died. So I was having like a panic attack and I was like, started to cry and then I just had to be that person that went to the front of the queue and was like, can I please like jump in my flight? I'm gonna miss my flight and I like couldn't, get, couldn't even get my words out and there was this like lady and she was like, it's okay, you're not gonna miss it, it's okay. And they were like, yeah, yeah. So I got it on and then it took ages to get through security and then I finally got on the plane and everyone was seated, ready to go. And I was like, hey, how y'all doing? And then I just sat down and that was that yeah that was quite embarrassing and then i got off and you know what it was such good weather i've had the best day ever i went and got my keys me and paul went for a drink we went for got a coffee the pre-mark urban outfitters and i will do like a flat tour i feel like nothing's gonna be ready tomorrow and it's getting dark so you don't see it so i feel like i'll do it tomorrow okay so it's 11 o'clock i don't think i'm gonna show any of my flat tonight because i don't want to show any of it until it's ready um there's a teaser on my stairs me and my daddy now are like building stuff like he's building a table i'm building a smaller table and i'm so tired i've been up since half five 
Your mom, my mommy's sort of nothing. She's lying up there in my bed taking a break. My mommy is very sick at the minute. Like she has some bug going around. And you know what? She still came on the trip and gave it her best shot, but it wasn't very good. Or she bleached the bins and I think that's generally all you did. After I do this here, I think I'm gonna call the day. I haven't unpacked any of my clothes. I'm doing all that there tomorrow. Okay, going to get Megan now. This is the next day. I just met some of my neighbors and they were so lovely. They were like, hey, nice to meet you. But yeah, Megan's been standing waiting at this door for a while. I didn't want to be rude and leave them. But yeah, I've spent the whole day unpacking. I'm basically done. <laughs> Come on in. Okay, I know I said I was going to show you my flat, but I actually don't have time now because me and Megan are going out. This is my outfit. This skirt was my birthday present from Megan and uh, I opened it. Well, you give it to me. Like, I was talking about an outfit and you were like, oh, um, well, I don't want to spoil it. And I was like, you got me that skirt. Yeah, we're going to go out now and then I will do like a flat tour tomorrow. I mean, I'm saying a flat tour. It's literally, it's, it's a shoebox. I hate whenever I don't know, like I have to Google Map everywhere at the minute. Yeah. Because it's obviously new. Okay, it's the next day. I Oh, are you laughing there? Day. Look at her with the coat. <laughs> okay, yeah. So we were out last night. We were so drunk, um, but we're not. We're not hungover. This is my new area. Now we're going into town. So, um, oh my god, do you forget when your brain's not working? Like I just can't form sentences. I'm not hungover, but let me check the maps in a minute. We're gonna go round the, round a few shops. We'll get a drink, won't we? Yeah, we do need it. The cause is the cure. But we have to go. To Paul's first I get a parcel so we're gonna to go to his because I ordered jeans and I really want to wear them today I have no nice jeans then we're just gonna get the metro from his to town because he li they live right beside the metro so it's so handy I'm hungry well we get a coffee as well like oh my god this coffee. is so exciting today getting a coffee from this place how cute I feel like Monica Geller for some Central reason park. I we are literally in such a park where I keep saying I'm dressed like Monica Geller <laughs> <laughs> it's the way the t-shirt's not tucked in is that one yours then? It's lovely. Oh my goodness, you're the worst for dogs. Megan will let, like, if I told that story before, I feel like I tell the exact same stories on YouTube all the time. If a blind dog comes in, I have. A guide dog. A guide dog, and like, you'll come up with me, is that dog loved? Do, do they love that dog? Do they pet that dog? And I have to be like, yeah, Megan, they love their dog. It's sad that they have to work. Like, I know it's such a good thing they're doing, but I'm like, okay. you oh, just oh are God. a work, you're working every day of your life. <laughs> you never get a chill out there. This um, coffee is delicious. Yes. Literally immaculate vibes with Trice Loy like. Trice Loy like. Nice. Where is it? Oh my god. Hello. Hi. Where are you going? <laughs> Looking at my ice lolly. <laughs> he wanted me to be like, do you want this? And I'm not giving it to you. Your teeth are so much whiter than mine. My teeth, because I drink so much coffee, are not white know, anymore. Let me see yours. Yours are pearly white like. Oh my god, listen to me, I'm so vain. Especially I've got the orange. Not much flavour off it. I'm the worst for that food regret. I'll order something and then be like, this is nice, but I should have got this. This is our view. We should have brought the kids. <laughs> I feel like I'm in all these. I feel like I'm in, I feel like I'm in yeah. Central Park. Yeah. Do I look like Monica? Oh, we were literally about to get metro tickets and someone's obviously bought and left these. No, that, and there's more there. I well, swear. I they'll get good karma. Good karma. But... Have you did anything good that this is like your karma? Letting all the women I feel like... in front of me in the line the other day. Oh, well then Therefore. that's your karma. Hold on. Oh my god, see the wee Metro app? I'm obsessed with it. I don't think we're on the right platform because this is Whitley Bay we're going to. Look how good this is, Chillingham, and I just put it in Monument. This is an amazing app, right? It tells me there's one coming in two minutes. And it tells me what platform, platform two. Right, we're going to work, we need to get the other platform. Right, let's do. Let me show you. It's my flat now. Megan's gonna video for me. Okay, here's the front door. Go in here. Here's my phone for parcels. I actually love it when they ring. I feel so like bougie when I have to answer. This is the bathroom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> very small. What are you laughing at? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that mat is like the ick of bath mats. It's like what you would see in a boy's uni room. A little mirror. Okay, and then we've got some like coat Coats. hangers. Got some storage. I have to keep my hoodies up there because I've run out of room. And then this is the mm -hmm. linen room. Here we pan around. The kitchen. The, the, I had to buy this table. 
It did not come with the flat. My flowers from Paul. Uh, the kitchen. I got all of these. I got everything in B and M. If anyone's asking, like these, are, they're Matland. Everything else is B and M. I mean, I don't just want to see what's in my cupboards. Glasses, protein, plate food, and then the TV. TV's a decent size. That's good, actually. That yeah. That TV's there. And then this is my sofa, my table, the mat. Tesco. <laughs> <laughs> And then you come up the stairs. And this is so, such a good kitchen. shot of your bum. Cute. So, got this big glass thing no. over. I absolutely. Look at the up. stairs, too. We don't show the stairs, they're spiraled. Okay. The spi stairs are dangerous. Yeah. It's such a nice view that from up here, like, my wardrobe. Mini. Minnie, Minnie loves her new home, my other wardrobe. I've got up all her showing you is like what's in the drawers and stuff like that to make up. I got this here in B&M. Um, I've got slick stories under here. So that's gym stuff and then jeans. Yeah, I'm gonna have to buy a fan. The mm -hmm. heat, oh my goodness. And that's it, that's basically it everyone. I don't know where I'm gonna put my big suitcase. I feel like it's gonna have to sit out. That's the one thing I hate things like sitting out. My auntie was like deadly serious to my mum, will we get her a stair gate? And I was like, I'm not getting a stair gate. My mum was like, don't even think about going anywhere near them when you're drunk. I love my wee coffee session, but does anyone else think there's like too much going on? In fact, there is too much going on here. I know there is, but it almost like you're sort of just wasting like counter space with that. But I was like, no, it's so cute. Be from up here. Right Megan said it looks like Molly May's old flat. With the red brick and the spiral stairs. She didn't have spiral stairs though. I didn't vlog that much today. We went and got a Nando's and then I was going to vlog but I was so hungry I just started eating. I also got these new jeans from Weekday and they're so nice. I hate it whenever jeans go like that there. So, but anyway, I'm going to stop this vlog now. Thanks for watching this video. Also my dad was like, you don't say like and subscribe in your videos. So please can you like and subscribe to my channel. I'm like, I don't want to annoy them. Okay, bye.